welcome to Hong Kong Art, and it is the second time the trophy tour, Asian trophy mm. Hong Kong. So, what's your impression of the Hong Kong football fans? Well, the fans are fantastic. They are fantastic, and that's why the Premier League have brought the trophy back to Hong Kong again. It's the first venue that they've done this competition for a second time at. So, it's a great compliment to, first of all, the Hong Kong Football Association, but to the supporters as well, who have made it so uh, such an exciting visit for the teams and for us as broadcasters as well. Okay, so, and the second question is that uh, you are one of the most famous and popular football commentators in the world. And many fans in Hong Kong and many young people in Hong Kong want to be a famous commentator too. So how should they equip themselves to become such as famous as you and such as good? <laughs> well, it's not a quick answer, but I'll try and make it short. Uh, first of all, you have to love the game. There's no question about that. If you're passionate about the game, then you can move on to the technicalities of it. I think you, you have to have a good voice. You have to be able to want to talk about football. You have to be able to um, follow the game, to identify the players, to learn about the information, the facts and figures. Um, but it doesn't happen overnight. And I think if anyone wants to do it, they can. I, I'm living proof that you can do it if you want to do it. Um, so desire is very important and not to be disappointed if things go wrong, to keep coming back for more, to keep wanting to uh, to show the broadcasting authorities and the broadcasting media that, that there's a job there for you. These days there are more jobs, there's much more football on television, so lots of opportunities. When I started I was very lucky because there were no jobs really, I just got a lucky break. But now you can go to media college, you can uh, have all sorts of ways of practicing on the different radio stations. Um, but it comes down to wanting it. Whatever job you want to do, it's always there. Never be disheartened. Always believe you can live out your dreams, really. And the final question is that many Hong Kong football lovers like England team too. So mm. What's your uh, prediction to their future in the 2012 Europe? Well, uh, England haven't qualified yet, so... Uh, they, um, it's a big issue in England, the England team, because we have a lot of, lot of interest in our Premier League. The uh, expectations of the English public is very high, and England still haven't won anything since 1966. So it's difficult for the players. They find it hard. They've been saying recently that the pressure on them is, is enormous, really. Uh, one day it will happen. It will happen if they're the best team on the on the day and they're the best team in a tournament. Uh, whether that will happen in 2012, I, I hadn't started commentating in 1966, so all my time I've commentated on England for 30 years and they haven't won anything. So maybe when I finish, England will win something. <laughs> but um, there are a lot of good national teams. It's not just because England have a history in the game that they can win anything. They have to prove they're the best team. And they'll be trying. That's all I can say to the Hong Kong England fans. England will be trying to do their best and, and if they qualify to try and win it. Okay. Thank you.